Welcome, my friends, to the reviews that never end. I am partially drunk. That last part didn't rhyme. Hello, Rock and Beer viewers. Welcome to another review of the AMA American Collaboration Beers Hand Gestures. Um, if you haven't watched the other videos, please take a look. There'll be a list in the description. I think maybe or some stuff or something you'll be able to find them I'm gonna I think I'm gonna release them in just a big old clump just a just a big old dump of just a big rain of Alex I'm gonna rain reviews on you but <clears throat> if you haven't seen any of the other reviews um, there is a local brewery here in Denmark called Ama and every year they do a series of collaboration brews with um, American breweries that are here for a beer festival and it is kind of tradition for me to review them. Uh, I've been doing it since they started and uh, why break with tradition? So let's uh, let's get to this is the fourth one that I've had in a row so we might get a little goofy you can see the other three up here. Um, Let's uh, continue on. This year we're getting a lot of hoppy beers, which I, that is, I am into it. I'm a, if, I'm a, if you're watching, all hoppy beers. All of them. Only hoppy beers. All right. That's, whatever. I like hoppy beers. And this one is called The Demon Juice. I put the the on there myself. Um, it is actually just called Demon Juice. You can see there's a there's a football player there. American football, if you're not American. And he is uh, looking real possessed. He's looking like he could uh, he could uh, pea soup us at any moment. That uh, he might uh, he might speak in some weird tongues. But uh, anyway, this is a dry hopped hazy IPA. And this is a collaboration with Titletown Brewing Company, and that's in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I um, another brewery that I don't know anything about at all, but <coughs> so sorry. Ooh, a little bit more coughing just to prove that I was sick recently. All right, let's uh, crack this guy open. Um, the last two super hazy beers. Uh, Super poppy hazy beers have been absolutely fantastic. So I've got high hopes for this guy. Let's uh I'm just I'm just crazy pouring it into a glass. You can't see, but I, I just like upended that bottle. Uh a little bit of info. We got a seven percent. This is a this is a classic IPA strength uh beer. So seven percent. Uh, we're sitting with, uh, we got the Golden Promise in this one, we got the Carapils, we got the Wheat Malt, and we got, ooh, here's a, a new contender has entered the arena, we got Oat Malt. Uh, hops, Columbus, Citra, Mosaic, Idaho, Seven, and Simcoe. I am guessing because Columbus has been in all of these beers, I'm guessing it's, they're using it as the bittering hop. So, and that's why I haven't gotten like, in all the reviews that I've done, I haven't gotten that ultra Columbus dankness. So that's, that's my like uninformed, educated guess uh, on this. Uh, we're sitting with the London Fog on the old yeast. So classic, um, classic hazy IPA yeast, uh, London Fog or um, what is it called? Uh, English Ale 3, is that the other one? Anyway, here it is. Um, obviously they were completely lying about the haziness of it. You, It's basically crystal clear. Um, I don't know if you can see I'm signing um, the sign for liar on the other side. But that is a, uh, that's a, um, that's a juicy one. That's a, uh, that's gotta be the haziest one so far out of all four. Um, well, the first one, I guess, wasn't, <clears throat> the lager wasn't supposed to be that hazy, but this guy, this guy is super hazy. Um, used to have a little white head. I'll, um, I'll swirl it to get it back. Now it's back. 
it's um yeah i mean pretty standard looking beer for for these days and uh, i'm not one of them guys who hates hates on uh, hazy beer in fact i prefer a hazy beer yeah stick that in your traditional pipe and smoke it put that in your meerschaum oh yeah it's got that it's it's got a very a very similar um nose to uh to our last beer the um the the ancient dinosaurs and i guess it should because it's almost the same uh hot profile we uh was there a mosaic in the ancient dinosaurs let's reach back here let's take a look um nope there wasn't any i'm sorry so the only the only differences here is we we didn't got no sabro instead we've got the idaho 7 and we've got some mosaic but everything else is the same so but it's got a very very similar nose very um there's some there's some really nice i mean the citro mosaic is really easy it's always easy to pull out of there and I'm going to be honest with you, uh, in my experience, Idaho 7 actually almost smells like a cross between Mosaic and, and uh, Citra. It's got that, it's got that like citrus taste with that Mosaic, that very mm, hard to describe Mosaic where it's like tropical fruits and flowers and like if a flower had like a melon and a and an orange in the center of it and it's very very nice the smell is really great but it is very close to the um to the ancient dinosaurs it's very um very like citrusy but with uh with a little bit of pine in the background it smells like it smells like every beer I've ever done with um, Idaho 7 and Mosaic, which doesn't help you with like actually being able to picture it in your nose's eye, but it's if you've ever smelled Idaho 7, you'll know exactly. If you've ever smelled Mosaic Citra, you'll know exactly what this smells like. And I'm assuming anyone who's watching this has, so let's let's get right into the taste. Oh, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed in the level of um, of hoppy beers so far. It's been a this has been a bumper crop of hoppy beers this year in the old ama. <coughs> oh, sorry. Again, that cough is due to old sickness, not the beer in any way. Disclaimer. Um, yeah, this this is. Everything you would come you've come to expect in a, um, a hazy What do they call it dry hopped hazy IPA? I would call it a New England just because it's obviously a New England IPA maybe um, Maybe up in Green Bay. They just don't want to they don't want to give props to the East Coast Because they're part of the left coast Do you guys call it the left coast in Wisconsin? I know I got a couple of Wisconsin viewers in uh in Michigan we got the we got the, the Michigan we got the left coast that's uh that's like a thing and technically you guys are also on the left coast cuz you're on the same lakes as us but any, anyway you know what that's neither here nor there or possibly there i don't know it's another crusher another one where you can't i mean 7% this is more or less this is more or less just as drinkable as the as the five percent just as drinkable as the eight percent um a little bit more mouthfeel than the um than the session ipa uh it's it's got a more full body to it not as full as the double ipa but but close actually it has a very juicy flavor um, actually, this is the kind of juicy flavor that I expected from the ancient dinosaurs, where it's got that very like um, tropical fruit juice type 
um, type flavor, like multi fruit juice. Like if you did like pineapple, orange, and what's another tropical fruit? I don't know. Let's say guava. Um, that's a catch all for me. Uh, it just kind of blended together. And yeah, uh, very low bitterness, super low bitterness, um, normal New England IPA level of bitterness, I would say. <coughs> not as low as the, um, not as low as the sabotaged, but not as high as the, um, as the ancient dinosaurs, somewhere in between, but almost not noticeable as actual bitterness. Yeah, and I wonder if that some of that little bit more fuller mouthfeel, it's it's not dry, but it's it's obviously it's dry, but it's it's got that like um I wonder if some of that comes from the um the oat malt. I've had that experience before that oat malt can give a kind of rounded flavor, a rounded mouthfeel, even for lower or higher attenuating beers. But it's also London fog, so I mean that that always gives you a bit of haze and a, a bit of mouthfeel as well. Yeah, I'm um, I'm digging this one. Uh, I'm getting more, a lot more Simcoe in the flavor. Um, there's that little bit of bite on the end, that little little bit of signature kind of Simcoe like um, grapefruit piney bite on the end. Which is good stuff. This is this is a really nice beer. I've been killing it on these on these lighter beers. Absolutely killing it. Um, I would definitely recommend this one, the Demon Juice. Um, I actually feel like I've uh, I've been looking at some um, I've been looking at some reviews or, or just as I've been scrolling through them on like Rate Beer, and I've seen that this one is people's favorites. Or just in like beer nerd things like I'm in I'm in like a lot of beer nerd like Danish beer nerd um, forums and stuff and I I feel like I've seen this one listed as like the the clear winner in the in the beers it is very very good I would um, I would put this right up there with the um, the sabotage I really liked and um, this one, this one is just a really nice, yeah. Super recommended if you can get a hold of, uh, if you can get a hold of some demon juice. Um, and why couldn't you? I mean, obviously, everybody should be able to get a. Uh, I know that not everybody can get a get a hold of this stuff, but um, I'm uh, I'm impressed. So demon juice, thank you to um, Ama and uh, Title Town for um brewing this and uh thank you guys for watching thanks for uh thanks for making it through this guy um i've got two more and i believe that they are the both the dark beers so uh i'm not sure if i'll be drinking them we might have a little bit more darkness and i might I might give it a couple hours before i drink those guys but um stay tuned you'll see me soon drinking uh having a different color in the glass and uh, yeah, cheers guys.